Hi and welcome to another video by Get It Done Home Repairs. Today's project is going to be how do we hang a set of blinds like this onto a window. Now there's different ways you can mount it. In this particular case we're going to face mount it which means it's going to be mounted on the molding itself. You have the ability to mount it inside if you choose to but this one is going to be mounted on the outside on the molding itself. Alright let me show you what kind of tools you're going to need and then we're going to get started and we'll get this job done. All right, we're going to need a drill. Not that I'm endorsing this company. This just happens to be the company that I actually purchased to do the job. We're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver. We're going to need a very small drill bit, usually 1 16th of an inch to an eighth of an inch. You're going to need a pencil. In this case, I am going to use a uh, the screwdriver or this drill as a screwdriver, but it'd be better off if you use just a regular Phillips head screwdriver. We're going to need a ruler or something to measure where we're going to mount our brackets. And then this is what came with the with the new blinds themselves. The brackets that we need to mount, the screws that actually hold it to the window frame itself, the corner pieces that come with the window with the uh, with the blinds and the end caps and such as that. But the directions will show you where this goes. Very important. A lot of people would probably say, ah, I'll leave this out. You don't need it. You definitely want to put these end caps in because as you know, things today are made of a, uh, a softer material. It's made of plastic and these caps will help it keep the form so that it doesn't actually collapse and fall out. All right, enough talking. Let's get up there and we're going to take our brackets first and mount all three brackets on the window and then we're going to get this job done. Okay, so now we're going to get ready to put our blinds on the molding. And we know that the blinds themselves are 37 inches. This molding is 38 inches. So we know we have one inch overlap from the blinds to the woodwork. So we're going to split that in half and we're going to bring our blinds in a half inch on the right side and a half inch on the left side. And that's the very end of the blinds. And we want to mount our bracket about one inch in on the blinds themselves so that way it doesn't interfere with any of the mechanism. So we're going to measure from the molding the half inch plus the one inch we want it in and that's going to be one and one half inches in from the edge of the woodwork. Alright, so we're going to take this and we're going to put it up here. We're going to come in an inch and a half. We're going to mark where the screws are going to go. So we have our two marks right here. We do the exact same thing on this side over here as well. We're going to measure in an inch and a half and we'll put the marks on here as well. Okay, so now we have our marks here and here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to take a drill and we're going to take that small little 1 16th drill bit and we're going to pre-drill the hole in the wood right here. The reason we're going to pre-drill the holes is because if you try to screw a screw into a piece of molding without pre-drilling it, that screw is not going to go exactly where you want it. It's going to wind up walking around and it's going to wind up being crooked. Plus the problem you run into is on molding, if you try to just run a screw into it, you're going to split the molding and it's going to crack and it's going to look horrible. So take a minute and pre-drill each one of the holes before you screw them in. Let me grab my drill and we'll do that. You're ready to, to drill the, uh, the, the holes in the, in the wood and before we do the, the drilling we're going to take a, the screw, we're going to hold it up against the drill bit to find out how far down the screw goes. And you'll see there's a piece of blue tape on here. And the reason the tape is on there because we don't want to drill too far or we don't want to drill far enough. So we're just going to take the screw, measure the screw on here to find out the approximate height and that's how far we're going to drill into the wood until we touch the, the uh, tape. Alright, so now we're going to bring it up here, put it on the first mark and we're going to drill very slowly. Now we'll do it on the second mark. Come over to the other side and we'll do the exact same thing over here. Now 
and now our third bracket we're going to put in here, but first we're going to mount the two outside brackets first. Now we take our bracket, we hold it up on the holes that we pre-drilled in here, and we're going to catch the screws in here. Now if you are using an electric screwdriver, be very careful. You don't want to over tighten it and strip out the holes that you just drilled. So be very careful if you use an electric screwdriver. If you're doing it by hand, then of course you just tighten it down until it's snug. Now we're going to catch this in here. We're just going to go a couple threads. All right, we're going to take our second screw now. And we'll catch our second screw in here as well. We're going to hold it up to where we want to mount it, and we'll screw it in. And we'll screw it tight now. Okay, now you want to make sure that your bracket is straight. You don't want to have it crooked, because if it's crooked, the blinds will not connect up into it properly. So make sure it's straight with the, uh, with the mounting surface itself. All right, let's do the same thing on this side over here. Okay, again, we're just going to bring it up inside here, and we're going to catch it by half, half the threads. And then we'll get our second screw in here. We'll hold it up in here as well. Now, as I said, don't over tighten it and strip it out. Okay, so two of, two of our brackets are on now. Let's get that center point and we'll mount up our center bracket and we'll finish this job off. Okay, so now we're measuring the distance in between the two brackets and we have 32 and one half inches. So we know that our center point is going to be 16 and one quarter inches. So we're going to mark 16 and a quarter. Okay, we marked our 16 and one quarter inches. And now we're going to take our other third bracket and we'll put our third bracket up. Take a third bracket, hold it in the center point where it's supposed to be, and now we'll mark on the frame where our screws are going to go. Let's grab our drill, and we'll drill these two out. We're only going to drill up till that tape touches the, the window, or the, the frame. Same thing here. Okay, so our two holes are drilled. Okay, hold our bracket up. Take our screw. We're going to catch it by a couple of threads. Do the exact same thing on this one here. Catch it by a couple of threads. Once it starts screwing in, then we hold our bracket where we want it to be mounted, and we'll screw it down. Okay, so all three of our brackets are now on. Let's grab the blinds, and we'll put them up. Okay, so now that we have our blinds, we're getting ready to install them. We're going to take our end caps, and if you look in the end caps, there's an R in there, so you know it's the right side, and obviously the other one's going to say L, because it can be the left side. All right, we put it on the top right here, and as tempted as you are is to leave these out, don't do it, because as I said, it will keep the blinds from collapsing when those brackets screw go on the top here and pull it together. So snap that in. We're going to take our other one now. As I said, it says left on it. Just hold it up in here like this. You may have to maneuver it around a little bit because it's not a perfect fit. Put it on there. And that's it, they're on. All right, next we take our blinds. We're gonna hook it up on this part right here. 
and then we're going to push it back and snap it in right here. All right, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to lift it up. We're going to hold it in here like this on all three of them. And after we have it caught on each one of these little hooks right here, we take it, lift it up, and snap it in. And that's it. It's caught. It's where it belongs. Now, if you need to move this a little bit one way or the other, you can do it. You can just go up underneath the bottom right here. You push a little bit of pressure on this, and you can take this and pull it down and out if needed. All right, but that's up like that. Next, we're going to put our two end caps right in here, and then we'll finish this up. We'll take our end, just put it in here like this, and you push it in. Just like that. Let's snap these in a little further. And that's it. These are on. Now your blinds are pretty much ready here. Okay, now at this point I'm going to stop because I'm not going to use these little clips that come provided with it. These clips would be if you wanted to have the blinds connected to a point down on the bottom. You would actually screw these in at some point and you could attach this to the bottom of the blinds to hold them out. But I'm not going to put these on. That's personal preference if you do. The next thing is if you're going to put a valance on up here. If you're going to put a valance on, which I'm not going to do, but if you were going to, you would just take your clips like this, take them over the top, push them down over the top like this, push it down, and you would snap your valance in there. But again, I'm not going to use it. That's personal preference if you choose to. And the last thing we're going to do is take our wand, put it in here like this, turn it, and you give it a little push, and you hear it snap in, and then you can adjust your blinds as needed. But that's it. This job is done. Uh, it's really fairly simple. Just make sure you pre-drill the holes. That's probably the most important part of the whole job. I can't tell you how many times I found woodwork that's actually cracked because somebody didn't pre-drill it. Take the time, pre-drill it, and you won't have any problem. That's it. This job is done. We're on to the next one. Now, if you want to subscribe to the channel, down on the bottom, you'll see a little subscription subscription button. Click on that button, and you're going to notice a bell is going to pop up. When the bell pops up, you can pick your personal preferences. If you want to be notified of no uploads, that's fine. If you want to be notified of occasional uploads, you can pick it and highlight how often you'd like to be notified. That's it. This job is done, and we're on to the next one. As always, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.